Hi, 12th graders, coming to you from the art room at Green Valley Christian School. How's everybody doing today? So, our first assignment is going to be on abstract expressionism. By now, I hope you've watched the two videos that I sent over to you on ab abstract expressionism and the artist that played into that movement. So, many of these artists, William de Kooning, Lee Krasner, Jackson Pollock, Franz Klein, Joan Mitchell, Helen Frankenthaler, Adolf Gottel, Norman Lewis, and one of my very, very favorites is Mark Rothko. So a lot of them played with expression and emotion. So at this point in history, they were not drawing from the outside. They were drawing from the inside to create their artwork. So through their emotions and expression, they were able to show movement in their paintings. And quite literally, if we look at some of the way the artists in this movement had painted at the time, for example, Jackson Pollock, you watching him, you could see that he moved around a lot, his canvas being on the floor, dripped, splattered, um, frantically moved around his canvas, pulling that paint around. Same thing with Franz Klein and many of the artists that are involved in this abstract expressionist movement. So today I'm going to ask you what could you find in your house to pull and move around onto your paper? Your paper could be any kind of surface. It could be a piece of paper, it could be a paper bag, it could be a piece of cardboard, it could be the inside of a cereal box, it could be a shirt that is old. Whatever you want your surface to be, that's what you're going to be looking around your house and choosing. It does not have to be in your sketchbook. It can if you want it to be and if you don't find anything else, but I'm asking you to be creative and to look around and see what you could find. If you can't find anything around your house, then just use your sketchbook. But I just ask that you would open up your sketchbook to a left and a right sheet of paper that would make one composition, one full sheet. And use the left and the right side together. So to get started, look around your house, find a surface. That's number one. Number two, what can you use in your house to drag and pull around. Well, if you don't have any kind of acrylic paint, let's get creative. What could you use? Do you have food coloring? Do you have some, um, I don't know, some kind of coffee that's brewed? Do you have some tea um, that could be brewed and, and drug all over your canvas? Do you have chocolate syrup or ketchup? Um, get creative and think about what you could use. If you don't have absolutely any of these things, then you're just going to have to use a good old pen, colored pencils, whatever you can to create some kind of composition that is personal to you, that comes from emotion, and that is um, that shows movement. So I would like for you to to put some movement into this piece as far as physically moving around it to, great, to gain the momentum of a pulled and a sweeping motion, but to also show us motion. So if you're doing that um, by pulling around and twisting around the canvas, we're going to be able to see that in the motion that is shown. Um, also, how does it evoke feeling? from the viewer. So if I'm looking at this piece, um, is it color? Is it the motion that is showing me feeling? And then it is going to evoke something from me. So if I look at that piece of art, say if I'm looking at a piece of art by, like I said, one of my favorite artists is Mark Rothko. Well, you may look at this piece and go, what is it? It's just a square uh, on the canvas. It's not. When you see this piece in person, it illuminates the canvas. And it's rather large. It's quite beautiful in person. How could you do this? Well, let's take a look. 
What kind of colors did he use? Is there any light to dark? What is his background? Think about how you could evoke emotion using color. So have fun on this project. Do the best you can. It's a very free form project. It's a very experimental project. It will be what you make it. So have a great day today, guys. Good to talk to you guys for a little bit. And just when you're finished, take a picture and turn in the assignment to me. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.